All right. So, the date today is Sunday the 19th of November, and this is vlog number three. I am freezing my tits off, so I'm going to be wearing my dry robe. Now, what have we been doing this week on the Adventure Antidote? Um, I have been trying my first pitches for corporate sponsorship, and they went badly. <laughs> I thought I was going to go in there all Jordan Belfort and just sell them loads of sponsorship, and they would just want to throw money at us. Turns out people don't want to throw money at you, and they're quite considerate about, <laughs> quite considerate about how they spend it. Um, I made like, so I made a massive list of like people to to call and yeah I started going through it and you know I, I work in sales so uh, I cold call people all the time and have a reasonably good hit rate for it. The difference is at my company I'm quite used to the things that I say and I know what I'm gonna say and why whereas this I just fucking absolutely rambled <laughs> and uh, bless him, this guy from a company called Chip, he was just like, what are you talking about? I don't even know what you want. Uh, and I was like, wow, okay, sure. So I need to work on this. Um, and to be fair, I've had some really good advice from people. So fortunately, the people who have been like, what the fuck are you talking about? They have given me some good feedback. Um, and like, there are three key things. So the first one is I obviously need to be a lot clearer about what our message is. The second is they want more detailed info on where the money goes, like charity wise. Like I can talk about the charities, University Hospitals, Birmingham, Fisher House and Diving with the Injured. But it's like, well, what what do they need the money for? Like, what is this? You know, if they invest, if they sponsor us for 10 grand, well, what? bit of kit does that buy or what extra thing does that mean for someone so working with the charities on that to get more info and I also think that's going to be really helpful stuff to go on the socials so yeah that'll be out in the near future I'm, I'm meeting them uh, next Friday when I say them like some of the people from the charities so that's good news um, and then also need to be clearer on like what's in it for the company on the other side of sponsorship like what do they get out of it? So I've had to be quite creative on ways that we can like give them exposure through the charity and through us. Uh, and and I think that's that's going to be something that's like a work in progress. And I suppose like different people are going to want different things. So that's going to be have to be something that I'm going to be learning on the go with. Cool. Um, I, me and Mike also spoke to a lad called Chris who rode the ocean from Australia to Mauritius. So he's done the road that we've done, what, that we're gonna do, but he finished in Mauritius rather than Tanzania. So cuts off like, uh, we'll be doing an extra thousand or so kilometers, um, but was really eye-opening to speak to him. Um, he was in a team of four and he's done the Atlantic and the Indian. He said the Indian was rough. And he talked to us through like a bunch of safety stuff in terms of like, okay, be really strict with yourselves because you're going to be tired and when there's you know if it's night time always have your life jacket on even if it's like really still conditions um, if it gets the wind gets to a certain degree then get your life jackets on and even if it gets past a certain degree just don't even bother being on deck like get in the cabins and then just wait it out like don't be all macho like oh we're just going to row through it like past a certain point just get in there and then like wait it out. So some good learnings there. He also talked to us about um, some of the biggest waves that they were on were like 36 foot, which is absolutely humongous and like crazy to hear about it. He talked about the different kind of like batteries and electrics that we need to have and some of the safety equipment. So he was super helpful and I think he's gonna be helpful for us the other side when we get to Australia and plan to leave from Geraldton. Um, he, he talked to us about like timing the winds and the trade winds when we leave Geraldton to get out in like um, and get out to a fast start and cover a good few hundred kilometers while, while the conditions are good um, will make a huge difference. I also recorded my first podcast this week for the Adventure Antidote and it 
is difficult. Like newfound respect for people like Joe Rogan and Chris Williams and all of the other guys, Dak Shepard and the podcast that I listen to on a regular basis because talking for that long and remaining interesting is a fucking difficult thing to do. So hats off to them. Um, what else? What else did I do? Oh, I've, I've been invited onto a couple of podcasts as well this week. One in like a professional sense. Um, some guys that, that I know have, have got wind of what we're doing and they were quite excited to talk to me in terms of um, like setting big goals and relating it back to sales. So all good exposure for us. I'm going to have that conversation with those guys uh, next week. And then there's a guy here in Wales who called Will, who has his own kind of adventure and athlete based podcast. So we had a couple of conversations and he was really helpful. So I'm going to go on his podcast and I think I'm going to have him on mine as well. So just good to get um, different perspectives. I think we'll probably have more of a conversation around mindset on his, whereas on mine uh, or on the adventure antidote for ours, then I want it to be more based around kind of inspiring people to take on challenges to improve their mental and physical health. Um, what else have I been doing? I've been playing around with tools like Canva and what's the other one? What's that other fucking tool that I use? Oh, well, I forget about it. Anyway, I've just been messing around for ages trying to make content better and it takes so much time. I spent like three hours making an infographic uh, that I think looks quite good, if I'm honest, but it didn't fit the frame for Instagram. So I then basically couldn't really post it. I put it on the story instead. I still think it's cool, but just good to have these things uh, in the arsenal so now like I can still build on like those skills and hopefully make stuff that's more engaging. I still need to figure out how to make these videos a bit more engaging. Like I want to get an intro for them and, you know, maybe I can start showing uh, extra stuff that's happened throughout the week, you know, showing some clips of stuff that's been going on. Um, but I also think that will come as we get more into the campaigns and we're doing stuff uh, more frequently like training then we can start adding that in, but we're still really at the beginning phases. So uh, slowly starting to build on that. Outside of that, bit of training. I did a lot of climbing this week. I think I went to Cardiff uh, bouldering about three times. I did a really decent tempo session in the gym that I posted on Instagram. Um, that got my heart rate going. And then I ran like a 12K. Um, but spent the weekend at home with my dad in, uh, in the Cotswolds. So run-wise, not so great. Training-wise in general, kind of good. But official marathon training starts tomorrow. And I am going to need to train in the mornings, which is a bitch. Because I hate waking up early. And it's cold and it's dark and it's horrible. Um, but with the things that I'm doing in terms of like the interviews for people... Uh, doing the, the podcast and that kind of stuff, I'm not going to be able to do like an hour run in the evening and eat and do a podcast and all of that jazz. I'm So I'm going to have to wake up early and do it. And I'm really not looking forward to that. <laughs> but it's all part of the journey is what I've signed up for. And I've just got to do it either way. Anyway, I think that's enough talking for this week. Um, that's my update and looking forward to next week. Catch you later.